Well, the Highway Trust Fund basically makes up 42% of Texas's highway funding. So um, it, it's a trust fund. And so the money that comes out of the Highway Trust Fund then goes into each individual state. Mm -hmm. And it is funded through uh, a tax on tires uh, and a tax on commercial vehicles. And, but mostly it's, uh, it's fed through a gasoline tax, okay. which is the federal gasoline tax. Uh, the problem is that they have, well, it's not, depending on your opinion of it, uh, the gas tax hasn't been raised since 93 during the Clinton years. And um, as also inflation and cars are becoming more fuel efficient. And in the 2007 financial crisis, a number of factors have contributed to making the uh, highway trust fund insolvent or on its way to being insolvent. It's running out of money. Yeah, that's the simplest way of putting it. So basically, if nothing happens on July 31st, uh, then the, the trust fund will go below $4 billion. Um, no one knows precisely what that means, like what will happen, but a lot of people are speculating it's going to cost transportation jobs, construction go jobs. It's going to hurt projects that are already in the works, repair repairing roads, whatnot. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're kind of speculating mm -hmm. on what will happen, but clearly you don't want to run out of money. Essentially what's happened is, is that the U.S. Senate, Mitch McConnell, who's the House Majority, I mean, sorry, Senate Majority Leader, um, has a bill that they're trying to pass in the Senate that he has worked uh, with uh, Senator Enhoff, who is the chairman of the Public Works Committee, uh, and with Barbara Boxer, Democrat Senator from California, on, uh, on how they're going to fund the, the Highway Trust Fund going forward. Okay. Uh, what that would entail is a three-year solution. So. If you feel like we've already done this before, it's because over, since 2009, they have done an extension on the Highway Trust Fund 33 times okay. since 2009. So they're finally approaching this problem for what it is, which is we need a long-term solution. And the Senate has their plan, which includes budget cuts and changing the program itself, which is what Senator McConnell is fighting for, essentially. Okay. Uh, and he's been fighting you know, to get this through, and it has a bipartisan bipartisan commission, and basically has had the Senate working on this straight for two weeks. Okay. Uh, the House, on the other hand, uh, is, is has passed a 4.5 or rather four and a half month extension mm -hmm. that would go to December 18th. Okay. That uh, that extension would essentially allow the Highway Trust Fund to go. I, I think it would give an injection of 8.1 billion dollars to keep it going to December 18th. At which point. Uh, Representative uh, Paul Ryan is uh, chairman of House Ways and Means, mm -hmm. is attempting to get a bill passed that would include re uh, revamping the international tax code. Okay. And he would essentially be spending new money and uh, changing the international tax code to get revenue for the highway, uh, highway trust fund over a longer period of time. So both the House and the Senate are trying to extend the highway trust fund. They're both also trying to find a long-term solution. But the problem is, is that the house is gonna go on vacation for the month of August, which they always do. And uh, House Majority Leader uh, McCarthy has said, we're not gonna take up the Senate bill. Um, and what that means for McConnell essentially is that if, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, am I? No, no, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So McCarth McCarthy said he's not going to take up Mitch McConnell's bill uh, on the House, and the House is going to be leaving for the se end of, se well, basically the August recess. Yeah. Uh, what will happen then is that the Senate has the option to uh, let the Highway Trust Fund go into insolvency and, and, and just fight to pass their three-year bill, or they can take up the House bill. But uh, Mitch McConnell has openly opposed the House bill, has been openly fighting for his bill. So it, it actually would be complicated in the sense that uh, Mitch McConnell would have to get the Senate to approve the House bill at the last second, which is more complicated than it sounds. He would need essentially all 100 senators to not stand in the way of adopting the House bill. So what's, what, why is this such a big deal? Like, why is this such a hot button issue? Why don't they just... 
pick up one or the other? What What are the things about the deals that just is not tolerable for, like Kevin McCarthy? You said he just is not going to take mm -hmm. up the Senate version. Well, the big it's, it, the biggest problem is with the difference in how they want to do the long term funding of the Highway Trust Fund. Uh, the House would like to see that the international tax code be amended and through it bring in new revenue that would be more sustainable, okay. uh, that would actually keep the highway fund going for longer. They both want a long-term solution. It's just how they're going about it. Whereas McConnell would like to see tax cuts, I mean, I'm sorry, spending cuts mm -hmm. on the highway fund. And uh, that's really what the fight is really coming down to is, is not do we need a long-term solution, it's how do we want to go about the long-term solution. Are these 